everyone welcome to the stream it's friday and it's a good time for one more stream about amiga and what else we talk about morphos these days and uh, yeah uh, we are going to see uh, morphos today as well hello falcon level welcome to the stream hello level lord aris amiga um, welcome to the stream creepy welcome to the stream pvc 603 welcome glad uh, i have you all here um i'm george you can find me as uh, volcano in uh, various amiga forums hello jma80 welcome to the stream glad you're here and uh, yeah uh, today we are going to talk about uh, morphos this awesome operating system um, that is um, very close to amiga os and uh, has a lot of uh, fans and uh, we are going to talk about the preferences and how you can make it how you can change uh, how it works and uh, what you can find in um, uh, the preferences welcome everyone on the stream and i hope you are going to have uh, some fun uh, at any time if you want to to ask me anything uh, don't hesitate to uh, write uh, on the chat your question or whatever you would like to discuss i'm here uh, to try to answer as uh, much as possible and uh, if i know anything um, before we start i would like to talk to you about uh, a thing that i got uh, today and that's let me yeah and that's the card that i ordered uh, a few days ago it's a radeon hd6850 um, which is one of the cards that seems to work quite well with uh, amiga os4 and with um, morphos and i'm going to try it uh, this weekend to see how it, well it works on my x5000 and uh, see I actually if everything is working fine the most um, a very fast uh, computer how morphos is working on that uh, especially uh, heavy programs like uh, wayfarer and um, anything else that comes in our way um, one more thing that i would like to um, uh, tell you is um, recently i had some uh, questions by a friend of mine about the bottle that i'm using in uh, the streams uh, and i would like to to tell him he's uh, this is a, a chili's uh, bottle uh, that keeps the the water quite uh, cold uh, for a long time uh, i bought it back in 2017 and uh, i use it every day since then and it's one of the best uh, buys that i did uh, for so many years i i really enjoy this bottle and uh, i recommend it to everyone who would like to have something uh, like that uh, and without uh, further ado, let's go to uh, investigate the preferences and continue from where we left uh, the, the previous stream. Uh, of course, we listen music. I don't know if it is loud enough for you, but we listen music from the EB3, which is running um, in a separate screen. And let me stop it here before we continue. Uh, PBC 603 says I'm driving home so only listening thank you very much uh, PBC uh, I hope you will uh, catch up with us later uh, Falcon 11 says uh, this graphics is support uh, 2D only for Morphos and for OS4 uh, I also is it also uh, 3D um, I don't think it supports 3D for Morphos nor for Amiga OS4 uh, actually, I don't. I didn't get it to uh, have a machine for for gaming, um, but it has. If I recall correct, it has a hardware acceleration on both uh, machines for um, composite. 
And uh, yeah, I, I expect that it's going to work at least inside the ambient and workbench uh, quite well. And uh, possible uh, in the future will work well with the uh, video decoding, hardware decoding uh, on Amiga OS 4. Uh, but it remains to be tested and uh, I will see this weekend how it works, if it is good or not. And if it is good and works well, possibly the next uh, streams are going to be on uh, the X5000. We will see. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the reason why I bought this card is to find a, a good card for both systems, Falcon. That's why I ended up with that and it was one that I managed to find in uh, eBay and buy because you don't find uh, everything that you <laughs> are looking for, especially in a good condition. This one is in very good condition and um, you have, I have the, it came with the box and the manuals and everything. So we will see how it goes. Um, Hello, OP. Thank you very much for being here. I'm fine. I'm good. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, continue where we left before. It's uh, we were looking the preferences on the system uh, window. We have seen all the first row um, uh, utilities, which has to do with uh, the user interface. And um, let's see the network one. Uh, network uh, configuration, of course, is uh, things that have to do with the network of uh, your computer and especially if you have um, a laptop, a power book, uh, from here you can uh, configure uh, your Wi-Fi as well. Uh, right now this uh, is connected using uh, Wi-Fi, so you see here I have enabled the WL0 uh, device and connected with this green dot here, connected uh, with my uh, home network. And the next one is other networks that can be found on uh, in this area. OP says I'm good, just sitting and uh, flashing a, an update to my Apollo Boot Trio. Oh, uh, it's updated to Apollo OS 8.2. Uh, 8.2, I guess it's the last one, right? I hope you have fun with that. So um, from here you can set up whatever you, it is expected to be set up, uh, to, to set up in uh, such a utility. For example, if you want to have a static IP or a dynamic IP, DHCP, using the DHCP. So you can do it from here. And if you scroll down, you can see other devices that possible uh, exist on your machine. So uh, this one has also another uh, device and you can enable it by clicking here. Um, and if you have a cable connected, it will try to, to connect and give you access to, to the internet. Uh, also, you can add extra devices from uh, this uh, requester if you want and uh, change the host name, the DNS uh, servers where uh, it will access uh, first uh, to get the to resolve uh, domains to IPs, right? Uh, if you don't change anything on that, it will uh, get that information from your router and uh, use that instead. Advanced, a lot of choices uh, to, <laughs> to, to change how the network is going to work. Uh, a lot of stuff here. As we said early, uh, in the previous stream, um, Morphos is an is a operating system that um, they like to, to give to the user uh, the control to so many options. So you will see everywhere a lot of options for you to make it work exactly the way that you want. Uh, to be honest, uh, since I installed it and uh, configured my, con my Wi-Fi, I never touched, touched this uh, tab and I never changed anything here. Also about the network, 
there is uh, Falcon 11 says I'm I'm using static IP for example VNC server yeah if you are using VNC servers and you want to connect your to your Morphos uh, system from another computer yeah you need a, a static IP to do that um, in the we talked before about the top uh, right side of the bar and here you can add some uh, widgets and there is also a widget that has to do with the uh, Wi-Fi so if you want to to add it here if you right click on the uh, button at the far right corner far right corner uh, and modules you will see here the what is it wireless uh, module which is this one and if you go at above it you can get information about the connected uh, wireless network uh, and if you click on that uh, it tries to find all the networks all the wi-fi networks in the area and lets you select which one you want to connect to if you already passed the passwords it remembers them so it uses them uh, at once if you, you you don't have a password for a connection for example if i select this one it asks you for for a password uh, as much as uh, what you would expect from an operating system to do with the wi-fi uh, connection and uh, morphos is doing that very well and it is working flawlessly uh, op says i did try to stream this week Ooh. but i use my uh, amiga 1200 with a uh, table fire 1260 just because it was more stable than my ice track but it did crash when i overclocked it too much <laughs> man this uh, this hardware is so uh, good i would never never try to <laughs> to overclock anything actually now that i remember i I was never a uh, fan of overclocking not even my uh, PCs I never did uh, something like that because uh, I didn't want to spend time to to learn how this is working and yeah I, I was happy with the uh, performance that I was getting from the computer Falcon Endeavor says it's better uh, have uh, static, but it's no problem without static, but you need scan IP first. Uh, to scan the, the IP, to get a, a, a free one before you set it on static, right? The other thing that you could do if you don't want to set your computer to a static IP uh, is um, to, to set up your uh, router to give your com the specific computer or the specific uh, MAC address uh, always uh, a static IP, a, a specific IP, IP. so uh, you don't have issues with um, to set uh, the, the IP manually you get the one that the router is giving to you and by doing that the, the router will never give the same IP to another computer so if uh, your router supports something like that, it is a good solution to do it on the uh, configuration of the router. And also you keep the DHCP enabled on your computer in, st in case you connect to somewhere else and you want to have the DHCP enabled. Um, Falcon Leather says, uh, Volcaro have a right with overclocking. Yeah, I, I, for example, I, I thought about overclocking the uh, Micro Amiga 1 but I was thinking then by, uh, that if something happens and uh, stops working, it is a, uh, it is a fragile uh, hardware, this one, um, I will be devastated. So uh, just to gain, I don't know, a hundred of uh, megahertz more, I wouldn't do that. Uh, OP says, but the Table 5 1260, you just overclock with a CLI command. It takes five seconds only. Yeah, it's not. It, it is not the uh, that it is hard to do. Okay, even the latest uh, PCs, uh, you have the BIOS and go there and change all the configuration for the overclocking. The thing is that uh, you have to test it uh, for a long time to see that it is working fine, 
and uh, you know that it is going to work fine but after a, a week or two a problem might appear because of the overclocking that you did uh, some time ago and nothing will show you that this is the reason uh, yeah yeah that's that's my um, opinion on that I don't overclock anything unless I'm quite um, sure that it is going to work fine but if I get for example an O60 that works up to uh, 80 megahertz I will not try to gain 10 megahertz more th I mean it will not give you um, uh, anything extra because of 10 megahertz right uh, you are not going to have everything so much faster but that's my my view <laughs> of course uh, next one it's open on url that's exactly the same thing that we have in amiga os3 and amiga os4 open url is an old um, tool that you can install and what it does we talked about that on amiga os4 uh, streams uh, what it does is if any program has um, a URL link somewhere in the about uh, window in um, if it is a, a mail program for example yam you are using yam and it has you get an email that has a URL there and you click on that open URL helps to uh, start a program that will um, serve that URL that URL might be an email that URL might be an FTP uh, or even a URL for a website so it uh, understands what kind of URL is that and starts uh, the equivalent um, program to, to serve it OP says, yeah, but I don't always use 94. It's always go to zero after a reboot. So I use it wh when I need it. I have a uh, 060 revision six and those CPUs are quite uh, <laughs> expensive, right? Uh, quite expensive. I have seen some prices like uh, 350 just for the CPU. It's madness. So uh, from this uh, window, from this open URL configuration uh, uh, utility, you can set which browsers are going to uh, be used for uh, URLs, website URLs, which mailers, uh, FTP clients, and uh, different other uh, information that you can find here. For example, uh, since 3.16, the latest version of Morphos, the only browser and the only mailer that you find here is Wayfarer and Iris because uh, in theory it's, they are the best tools that support so many, uh, have so many features and support to so many websites so, uh, and they come with the operating system so the Morphos team decided to set them here in this uh, tool but you can add your own if you want for example, I can add here uh, a new one, a new browser. I can set it to OWB. The path, I have it still in the system and the applications folder. So where is it? Here. And I select it. I don't use any RX port. Or I don't think that I need to use. Let me see here. Okay. Maybe if I start OWB the reason that it uh, requires the RX port is in case you already have uh, OWB running it uses that port to send the, the, um, the URL instead of trying to restart it to run it again Falcon11 says, can you uh, show FTP? Yeah, sure. Uh, 
Yes, the CPU cost more than the card, but I got it uh, for 30 cheaper than eBay thanks to, to Chucky. Uh, oh, that's, that's very good, uh, very nice. Do you have the old firmware? Guys, I have to leave for a moment, uh, be right back. And I'm back. Sorry, uh, my wife uh, came back home and I uh, had to open the door for her. Sorry for that. And uh, yeah, uh, we can see the, the FTP right away. Uh, let me see how you can set up the OWB and um, how you can find the, the port. Uh, let me check the about if it has some information. No then I would uh, assume the, the port is something like ah no no let me start again OWB you can find the port from this uh, drop down so if you have that running you see here is OWB.1 and you have that there open URL so open URL that's um, you see on the wayfarer those are rx uh, commands so we have to uh, consult the owb documentation to see what kind of commands it has for rx give me a second because that's also what you need to do so if you don't know how to to find it this is a good way to see it uh, together okay so documentation are export all this stuff it has open okay that's perfect so we have to for open URL we have to give here open and name new page background and source source I guess it is the URL yeah, background I guess it is something like um, running uh, open that in background ah here it has also an example so we have open open name this thing open a new window new page okay so the the URL is on name okay and not source and here if i'm not wrong you can get the parameters the arguments so uh, the percent that sent you means this is uh, the url and uh, i will use new page as well and that's going to be the the command that open url is going to use if i select to open a URL with uh, OWB. When you have in a, in a type of um, programs, when you have multiple options and you click on a URL, the open URL uh, shows a window and lets you select which, uh, which uh, browser you want to use at that time. Uh, if it is, there are multiple uh, mailers, which mailer you want to use. Uh, and then uh, FTP clients let me add something here uh, and I believe I have let me close that and close OWB and we can test it uh, afterwards let me see if I have uh, applications um, internet 
I have RNO Expert, uh, which is one of the best uh, FTP clients that you, I recommend you to use. It is built with uh, Hollywood by JPV, which is a great developer. And uh, yeah, let me start it. So to find the uh, R export, if it has an R export, uh, no, I don't think it has. It doesn't seem to have one. Okay, so it is not going to use it. And uh, save. Close that. And let's try the, the changes if we find a URL somewhere here. Support. If I click here, it starts with the Wayfarer automatically. Hmm. Okay. Let me see if there is another option that I missed. Uh, enable, enabled. Okay. No. Ah. Apply and test. Yeah. Again, starts with Wayfarer, which shouldn't. Let me test the FTP. You see here, it starts automatically the uh, RNO expert. which means that the changes that we did here in the FTP uh, worked just fine. But here with the OWB, those changes uh, seem to have uh, to not be applied. Let me move it uh, down and use it. And try that again and see if it is going to see uh, OWB uh, at a high pri higher priority. Hello, Clock Thailand. Thank you for the hosting. How are you doing? Welcome to the, uh, to the uh, stream. Okay. So for now, it takes some time to do something. So I guess it tries to open OWB. Let me see if it, okay. Apply and test, no. So we missed something here. So or hide, I guess we don't need to uh, give, ah. I don't know if you can see here, the, the path is wrong because it doesn't have the uh, partition. So I will give here sys, enter, save it, and let's try that again. Does it do anything? No. If I do that now, okay, it started OWB, but it didn't give the um, the R export didn't work. Now, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I might don't have RX installed in my uh, computer. I don't know if it, this is the case. Falcon level. I remember that Rx was not coming with uh, the um, with Morphos, right? And you had to install it afterwards. Do you remember if this is the case? If this is still the case on that? Let me see if I can have it here. Rx file name. Rx um, say. 
hello no it works it works fine okay so for some reason okay let me do uh, copy this to the new window as well I don't think that we need to uh, save anything here and let me try again that see if it does anything yes now it worked now it works just fine so even if I let me try to have it OWB um, actually let me try to not start it manually but click on a URL uh, while OWB is closed and see if it is going to so it started that but it didn't visit the page okay but if I do that while it is open it creates a new page and starts that great let me see save um, what um, troubles me right now is why it doesn't ask me which uh, browser I want to, to use usually open URL uh, does that when you um, when you ask when you have more than one options here uh, Uh, Falcon 11 says FTP RNO FTP only two lines uh, you mean to to try that on the from the cell you need percent you percent on the end of path which path here OP asks, uh, can you run uh, Morphos on Amiga uh, or PC? On Amiga, you mean Amiga equipped with uh, PowerPC? I think you can run up to the two point something. Um, there was some work done by uh, someone for bringing uh, Morphos 3 to Amigas that have a PowerPC uh, CPU but uh, I haven't seen anything uh, released on a PC you can use the QMU, QMU and uh, you can uh, install uh, Morphos on that and run it quite well uh, the thing is that uh, you have only 30 minutes to, to use it otherwise after, and after that it slows down uh, so much that it's not usable you just need to, to reboot and um, for if you run it on an emulator it doesn't make sense i think you you can't even uh, register morphos uh, falcon 11 says you only activate rx with uh, 68k libraries okay uh, you can run morphos on, uh, on x5000 as leveler says uh, and he uh, continues I did not try yet but it will eventually Morphos looks nice and promising yeah it is very nice and I will uh, give it a try this weekend uh, leave a lot uh, Falcon 11 says if you have more web clients the first has bigger priority the sec then second no asking to choose one I if that's the case uh, it doesn't make sense to have uh, multiple here to be honest because um, I like the the option to select on the fly which browser you want to use uh, otherwise it doesn't make sense to have multiple here uh, just because you can change the priority okay 
maybe I'm used on the uh, in, in the old uh, way of uh, using the open URL uh, or maybe it's a combination of these uh, options here I don't know I have to to search for it uh, more and uh, then tell you how it works and for the FTP clients we don't have our export for the RNO expert so yeah you might be right uh, Falcon and if I do that let me try it it might try to open the FTP uh, automatically no let me see if I run it from the um, from the cell like that internet I don't know expert and I don't know expert um, FTP which is uh, the test uh, your, uh, FTP yeah like that you see that it gets it uh, automatically in the in the host let's see if it has any other uh, parameter no so by giving the RNO expert with the FTP URL uh, it works and uh, put it in the uh, which is pretty much what we are doing here unless it, it ignores that on this side and expect to, to work with uh, Alex but anyway this is the, the way that uh, you can do stuff on the open URL and it needs some experimentation I can see um, Libero says I wish weekends are too short I am behind upgrading my uh, classic Amiga to 3.2.1 and you have to do that uh, Liberos because it adds uh, a few nice uh, features like uh, that you can the, the new menu item that you can inject any uh, mountable uh, uh, disk or uh, uh, ISO uh, and also you can you have uh, my beloved one uh, new feature that it's not big deal but you when you work on the system you need that uh, I like to drag and drop uh, all the time into the cell and uh, in this update they enabled it to keep the cell uh, active when you uh, drop something in there which uh, yeah it's for me it's a game changer <laughs> it's simple but it uh, saves me so many clicks Falcon 11 says, I think no choose uh, FTP. I don't have configured, therefore I ask. Yeah, I have only the RNO expert right now on the Morphos because it is working so well. And uh, to be honest, I didn't uh, check for anything else. I don't know right now if uh, there is any other FTP uh, client on uh, Morphos. Uh, I will keep it for another uh, stream where we are going to see maybe on the next one we are, where we are going to see um, internet applications and what is available and I can propose you uh, with the best in my opinion uh, applications out there pretty much what we did on the Amiga OS 4 and uh, Amiga OS 3 streams uh, users this has to do with the users that can connect to your system uh, to be honest I haven't tested that at all uh, and I can't give you much information on that I guess this is a way to have multiple users on your system uh, I don't see why uh, <laughs> my, I wish my kids would like to to use uh, Morphos <laughs> but I don't think they will uh, so to make their own uh, users or my wife uh, so it's only for me <laughs> and I have the pleasure to use it that's why I have never uh, tried this feature uh, but we can see it on a future stream 
in more depth. Hosts, um, in other operating systems like uh, Mac OS, uh, Linux, and uh, Windows, there is a, a file uh, where you can set specific IPs to point to specific um, servers or specific domains to port to specific IPs. Uh, this uh, helps a lot when you develop something and uh, or if you want to, to block something. For example, if you want to block URLs that have uh, uh, that have uh, ads, you can do it from host. Uh, for example, if you want to block, I don't know, google.com for some reason, uh, and you don't want that to be uh, accessible, you can do it for, from here in hosts, and let me show you how you can do it. Uh, for example, if I want to uh, block, as I said, google.com, okay, that's the domain. What you can do is add here a new host that points to your system here, or even to 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. But let's add the local host and um, add here google.com and google.google.com. Save. I hope this was applied. So right now, if I do a refresh. Uh, let me close that. Let me see if I ping that. You see here I do ping google.com and it gives me the IP that I added in the host, which means the local machine. This IP means the local machine. So if I go in theory and it doesn't use any cache. If I go here at google.com, unable to open uh, this URL because what I told it to do is that whenever someone on this machine tries to access this domain, try to find it in the local machine. The local machine doesn't have anything to do with Google, uh, so it can't find anything. And that's the way that you can block uh, things. And if I'm not wrong, there is also a repo out there that is con uh, it is updated all the time and has all the domains or most used domains that have to do with uh, the um, uh, with ads. So if you find it and use it in here in the host, um, you can block most ads uh, ad domains out there. And also, if you are using an internal website that you might have your, on your NAS or on a, another computer on your um, network and you want to access that with a domain, uh, you can use a host as well. Uh, Falcon 11 says he, uh, in MOS FTP transfer. Okay, I will test that. Thank you. Uh, for hosts, I use IPs for my local NAS. Yeah because if you want to uh, use Samba client, it is needed. Okay. Yeah, you can use um, IPs for anything. Actually, uh, if you have the IP, it doesn't make sense to use the host. Uh, it makes sense to use it when you have to translate a, a domain to a specific IP, especially if this IP is inside your um, network. For example, if you have a NAS that runs a website and this is accessible only inside your uh, network, uh, instead of remembering the, the IP of the NAS, you can uh, assign there um, a, a domain, whatever you want. And uh, that works a little bit like a DNS, but you have a DNS on your uh, computer. Uh, OP says you, uh, the dev on 3.2, can I ask you for a tip for it? Uh, 
I'm not a dev on 3.2, uh, but please, uh, please ask whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> I will try to 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 help as much as possible. Ah, uh, Falcon 11 says that transfer is coming with the Morpho, so it possible we have seen that in applications. Yeah, here, this one. Okay. Okay, great. So if I uh, add here an FTP to somewhere, that's a good uh, transfer application. Yeah. So I wonder now <laughs> uh, if that is coming with uh, the uh, operating system, which I guess it is coming with the operating system, why they don't have it already <laughs> configured in open URL. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think that it will be hard to do it. So that's the reason why hosts is there. Hosts exist on all the uh, operating systems that have uh, a TCP IP um, uh, software to connect uh, online or on your uh, local network. So if you uh, have never used it in uh, any way, this is the way that you can use it. Netprinter, I don't have that um, set up currently, but I understand that is, it is a device that can help you connect to a printer that you have on your local network. I remember that on Aminet you can find a, a net printer device uh, for Amiga OS 3 and I think it is available for Amiga OS 4 as well. Uh, OP81 says helps the dev autocorrect. Yeah, uh, if you mean about the drag and drop, yeah, it is helpful. Falcon 11 says, yeah, right, about uh, the configuration. Yeah, it is It is weird because they configured the Wayfarer and the Iris, but they forgot the transfer. Uh, that's not a big deal. We can do it if we want. So the next one, the next group is uh, for system. And the first one is for SFS. You have here the the SFS uh, partitions, if you remember, and that's uh, for configuring some stuff about the SFS, I always keep the default ones, I don't need to change anything. Uh, if you remember to set up your partitions, there is uh, in tools, the format, not the hard disk config uh, program. This is used also when you uh, set up your system uh, before you install Morphos on that uh, where you can set which kind, which partition this uh, which file system this partition is going to have and uh, since you set uh, this up uh, you can have all the SFS partitions here and make changes into the buffer lines into I to be honest I'm not familiar with all this stuff except the maximum file name length, which is self-explanatory. And um, yeah, I keep it on the default ones and it works great. Uh, time, to set up the time. Um, in the latest um, versions, they added the time zone that can be used to get the date and the time automatically from the internet. Uh, like that, if you click it, and I think that it works also uh, when you boot your machine. You can set manually the uh, time and the date from this utility. Next one, log. It keeps, um, it is the configuration about the logs that are going to be uh, stored and the error reporting that is going to be sent to the developers when um, something goes wrong. Uh, because uh, Morphos has something, uh, has that feature. If for some reason something crashes, uh, you will get most of the times a window that uh, shows ask you to send that information to the developers if you want to do it and if you do it 
they get some information about your system and what went wrong, uh, what crashed, and this might help them to uh, fix the problems. Uh, Mivelo says that hard disk drive config looks so clean and easy to use, the same as Amigo S3 <laughs> or 4. I think, Livelo, you mean you say that uh, in, a, in a sarcasm, uh, right? Because, yeah, it is so clean here, but uh, on Amigo S3 and, and 4 it's so complicated. It, it's still so complicated, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, it's quite nice here. Uh, other, uh, unless I got it uh, wrong, uh, oh, leave alone, please uh, tell me so. Uh, OP says I have used uh, Coffin for a while, and that have if you click on a window, it jump in front of the other. Okay, yeah, that's uh, something that you can configure on Amiga OS 3 as well uh, with uh, Commodity. Do you know what program uh, makes it uh, work like that? Yeah, there is a Commodity in. Uh, uh, in the operating system that you can use it uh, bring front bring to front something like that and you can use it to to do exactly that hello my head welcome to the stream thank you for being here uh, do you use uh, morphos uh, we are looking on morphos these uh, days uh, in my last streams and we spend time to uh, get familiar with the operating system and learn more more stuff on that. I'm running that on my PowerBook uh, G4 uh, that I have here, and uh, yeah, we try to learn as much as possible for this amazing operating system. Level Lord says no circums here. Okay, so I got it wrong. Sorry. Uh, Amiga HD config makes more sense to me than Linux hard disk drive uh, config. Okay, uh, I don't even know how it looks on Windows. Didn't install Windows for years. Yeah, Windows and Mac, uh, I think, it tries to hide it uh, quite well. And uh, when you do the installation, it makes everything, all the uh, partitions automatically. Uh, but are uh, pretty much the same uh, way like uh, on Linux. Uh, Falcon level says, I think it is not complicated. Hard disk toolbox, hard disk config, use same items. Yeah. Yeah, and we are uh, quite familiar with uh, all this process, right? Or after all these years. Uh, next one is debug. Uh, here you can select some of the stuff that the system should uh, log when you try to debug uh, your code or something that you are working on you, you are developing on and uh, it has to do with the emulation uh, and DOS and magic user interface you see that right now it checks on debug and logs on debug only the errors that are happening but if you want to to check about SS ASSL, ASL to get more information or about the MCC modules you can select it here and um, get more information on that. Uh, next one is Locale, of course, which um, country you are on. Actually, I should have uh, Ireland, but Ireland is missing. Morphos team, where are you? Ireland is missing. <laughs> so I, I uh, choose Greece, which is my uh, major uh, country and uh, available languages that are on uh, the system and the one that you prefer in case you want to to switch your um, the 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 input of your computer so which are the preferred languages if i move that at the top then my system is going to use the greek translation and all the menus and the parts of the system that are uh, translated are going to use that uh, language. If you are in another uh, country, you can use the translation of your country. Uh, and last from this group is notification. This is something that was 
added on uh, 3.16 uh, the last version of Morphos uh, actually this was embedded in the last version of Morphos it existed as an external uh, third party uh, tool which you could add uh, but now it's uh, embedded and you can have notification uh, windows, small windows that appear at the place that you want I think here you can set uh, where exactly you want to, to show this uh, bubble, this uh, notification um, and the icon size that it's going to have and things like that and here you can set specific applications what are going to you to show there and how they are going to work uh, most of the events that are going to happen on uh, the morphos inside morphos are already configured by the morphos team and they are going to uh, appear up there for example if the if you use wayfarer and you download an, a, a file um, you will see and that download sends, you will see a notification. Uh, Falcon 11 says Slovakia is missing. I'm afraid so. No, Slovakia is here. And is there Serbia? No, unfortunately not. Falcon Leather says, but this is our problem. Morphos uh, uses only in uh, Slovakia, or I think. <laughs> ah, you are only the, the only user in Slovakia. Yeah, in Greece, we don't have so many users uh, for uh, Morphos. I think I am, uh, we are around two or three users. I hope that there are more, and I don't know them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that's that's the system uh, utilities. And before we go to devices, uh, please tell me how do you find so far the the preferences of uh, Morphos? Are they do they look uh, uh, difficult to use or something quite? Uh, I don't know. So it has so many details. What do you think? Lord says uh, to Falcon that he might be wrong. Yeah, I, what I found uh, so many years, all these years that I am in, in the community, is that there are a lot of people that are using uh, Amiga OS 4 or Amiga OS 3 or uh, Morphos that they do not appear in any uh, forum for, some, for their own reasons. But there are uh, users that... Um, are active in an in a way and they test things uh, falcon level says but this is only country not language in uh, system i need translate first no time no sources uh, i was thinking about that if because uh, for the amiga os4 and amiga os3 i worked on the translation uh, for the Greek language and I was thinking that to do that on uh, Morphos actually I have access to do that and I translated some of the things even the the country and the the way for the input to, to use the Greek language that was something that I created a long time ago for Morphos and this is included in the this uh, distribution and uh, but for uh, Morphos there are quite few uh, the, uh, users so I was I'm not convinced right now to spend so much time for the translation since it's me and the one other guy that are, uh, we are using Morphos and he doesn't use any operating system in Greek so I find it a little bit a um, waste of time to do it I wish there were uh, much more uh, users in Greece for w using Morphos 
and I will do it in uh, no time. Uh, OP says, can I ask what Amiga 1200 cost in Greece? Uh, I don't think that we have uh, different prices for Amiga hardware in Greece uh, than what you find in other countries. It's pretty much the similar. Now, uh, if you are part of a uh, if you are part of a forum and you know people, and someone sells something and wants to give it in a lower price to parts of this uh, forum, yeah, that that happens. But it's only because of this um, friendly environment. Nothing else. Uh, Libelo says uh, it looks good, makes sense, but I can't say anything more until I install it and uh, start using Morphos. Yep, yeah. yeah. Uh, and if uh, you, the good thing with Morphos is that you can install it and uh, check it for some time and see uh, how it works on your system. And if you like it, you can uh, order and get the license so that it doesn't crawl after 30 minutes, <laughs> right? and uh, be able to do more stuff with that because uh, there are a lot of uh, applications that you can use uh, ppc603 says count me in for greek i was trying it soon uh, yeah i will ppc i will uh, manhead5 uh, says i have uh, no not any morphos experience but definitely i should try it uh, if i remember right x1000 is not supported hardware right yeah it's not supported by Morphos. You can try uh, Morphos only on X5000 and uh, the SAM 460, any of the uh, of the, uh, that series. If it is SAM 460, you can use it quite well, uh, but not in X, X1000, unfortunately, uh, and not on the a1222 so far i don't know if there are plans to port um, morphos for uh, the a1222 but so far there's nothing about that Falcon 11 says i use morphos from 2004 i bought peg 2 me too me too uh, but as i said before uh, it's my heart is on Amiga OS 4, okay, uh, but I love uh, Morphos as well and I try to, to learn as much as possible on that. My previous machine was uh, where I was using uh, Morphos was on uh, Pegasus uh, 2, which I managed to, to bring back in life from uh, a dead status that it was a lot of years ago. And since I bought this power book, I couldn't uh, stand to have two machines doing the same thing, so I uh, sold uh, Pegasus and uh, kept the power book here. Falcon Leather says Pegasus 2 is dead, but I have a new old one. Okay, okay. You need time, <laughs> as, as everyone, Falcon Leather, everyone needs time. <laughs> I wish I had uh, more time as well. Uh, so let's let's have a look on the last uh, group of uh, preferences, utilities, which is devices. Audio, it's something quite close to what you uh, are used to use with the AHI um, configuration. Don't forget AHI is uh, embedded in a way in uh, Morphos, they are using Archi for everything. H A H I. Okay, I like to 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 call it Archi. So uh, you have at the left side all the devices and the file save devices, and the devices uh, of your system. For me, is this one here, Unit Zero. You can select the mode, and then you can set the frequency, the volume, the gain. And uh, everything uh, as much as you are uh, you have seen on uh, IKEA on any system, you can select the units 
and from here you can select the device and also you can say if it is input if it is uh, from microphone or a line in okay it's pretty much the same uh, next one is the keyboard which um, uh, input you are going to have uh, for me here is a USA keyboard but also there is the Greek keyboard and there is if I'm not wrong if I remember correct USA and Greek together or not American keyboard with Greek input extension yeah um, but about the keyboard have in mind that there is a, a bar module that has to do with the uh, input uh, and you can switch between two or more keyboard settings and yeah it gives you the same window but if you go let's see the about of the key input uh, bar the module virtual keyboard where you get a virtual keyboard to click here on the on the monitor and key explorer if you have if you want to find some uh, kind of um, weird character for example if you want to have something like that which key sequence you can use to get that character on your uh, on your text which is quite useful sometimes and if i don't remember if it is by default enabled but if it is not you can go here on the modules and select it uh where is it key input at this point and in settings if you go in settings for the modules key uh, input you can uh, find in the list all the the key maps that are uh, available and select enable which ones you want to switch and um, you can set also the uh, keyboard shortcut to do that automatically for example uh, here if i write something and i use that keyboard where is it no yeah right here you see that those are not greek of course those uh, characters because i don't have enabled the greek language as the first one okay but it switches from the the, the shortcut i do that from the keyboard of the, of the on the mac because it has the uh, command uh, key uh, and that's how you can do it uh, on the bar at the module at the bar which is quite useful as well uh, actually it has something uh, Morphos has something that I not even Mac OS uh, even the latest version can create for some reason it has the Greek uh, flag which uh, it's not available on Mac OS. I don't know why they they show the a, a Greek character of uh, L. For some reason, they don't uh, know the Greek uh, flag, <laughs> which is uh, weird. Uh, Op says my flashing of the updated Apollo bot trio is done. Well done. Now back to my uh, uh, Amiga 1200. Have a great weekend, everyone. You too, OP. Thank you for being here. Falcon 11. I'm there a long time, and it's nice to know who is online with Amiga. Uh, ah, you are in Amiga Map. Okay. That's that's a very nice uh, website. I think I am registered there, and I have the my my computers, but I don't remember if I moved my registration from Greece to, to Ireland uh, okay and yeah thank you for the follow cool morphian welcome to the stream 
Cool, Morphean. Uh, are you from Greece, or I I misunderstand you for someone else? Welcome to stream. And uh, yeah, the next one is USB. This will remind you the Poseidon, and you will be uh, quite right because it's the, the it's the Poseidon embedded in uh, Morphos. So if you are experienced on how Poseidon is working on Amiga OS 3, uh, you will see the same uh, environment here with all the same options, the pop-ups when you connect something on your USB to see the pop-up um, that is connected or not and enable uh, and have also um, sounds about that. And if you go to the controllers and double click, you get some information. And I think there are uh, no devices, options for the devices, a lot of options for the devices, a hell of options for the devices, <laughs> especially when you connect um, a USB controller, which is a nightmare sometimes to make it work quite well. At least that was my experience, um, which we can see in a future um, a stream when we are going to uh, play games on Morphos. So that's the USB. Uh, laptop, it has to do, of course, with uh, PowerBooks. Uh, Cool Morphian says, so how's the most famous Greek Morphos user? Who you, are you talking about? Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, settings, switch to high performance profile when running on battery power. Yeah, these are uh, settings that you have to, to set up when you are using a power book, of course. Uh, and you have, the, you have the ability to use uh, Morphos on your laptop. Uh, on your belly, at your couch, and you are running on uh, the, the battery power, of course. So you want to optimize uh, a little bit the way that is uh, working, uh, so that uh, you will not run out of battery uh, quite fast. Of course, all these uh, computers are quite uh, old, and the batteries are, most of the, in most of the cases, quite dead. Uh, but it's uh, good to be able to configure that um, performance and a lot of other um, options here on how they are going to to run if you are on battery the when the hard disk is going to slow down and things like that um, and yeah you can you can set up things like that uh, things that you will expect to have from operating systems that works on um, laptop computers, right? They are quite useful. Mouse, the speed of the mouse, the pointers, you have different themes of pointers that you can select and use, for example this one, use, so I have a different pointer right now. Awesome. I prefer the default red for me and control you can make it faster you can make the double click uh, delay lo uh, smaller and things like that uh, printer set up your printer here um, since I think the version uh, the first versions of uh, Morphos they uh, embedded here the turbo print if you remember that was a software uh, back in the old days a very nice package of um, that supported different uh, models of uh, printers and uh, it had a lot of uh, nice software coming with that and they embedded that in um, Morphos and I think that if you go under Morph Morphs Morphos uh, folder yeah, here it's TurboPrint, TP, and that's the, all the files that has to do with the, the uh, printer's configuration. You see here Turbo and all the software 
that they uh, converted and embedded in the system. So you have to, you are able to uh, set up here the printers and configure it how they are going to uh, deal with graphics and uh, text and things like that. Poster, which is a very nice. If you want to to print a big um, image in different uh, pages, in many pages, so that you can uh, glue them together and make a bigger uh, printout. Uh, Falcon 11 says, I see that just uh, now is not working for me. I don't know why. Uh, which one? What did I miss on the chat? Let me have a look. Okay. Uh, is it still maintained? Maybe it was broken at some point and no one bothered to fix it. Uh, for what are you talking about? Cool Morphin says, uh, true True, uh, true TP is part of the MOS, of the OS, yeah. Ah, Falcon 11 says amigamap.com. It's not working. Let me, let me have a look here. Coming soon. So they are working on that. They are working on that. <laughs> we will see. Uh, and of course, the support for PostScript. Next one, we have printers. I guess it has to do with the driver devices and things like that. I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, caching on... Um, for the hard disk, where you can put some caching for uh, the partitions that you have. Now, uh, I was talking with a developer, with the developer of uh, SFS the other time with Joerg, uh, and we were talking on Amigans about SFS. And in the comment that he made, um, he said that if you are using SSD hard, uh, hard disks or uh, memory, uh, SD memory cards or things like that, it is better to not have uh, the CAS enabled because they, uh, the CAS is doing a lot of writing on the uh, SSD. So uh, you make the uh, life, uh, lifespan of the hardware uh, smaller and it might break uh, sooner than it, it is expected to. So that's uh, the reason why I, I don't have the CAS enabled. Um, to be honest, I never had issues with the speed. I don't think that it's so s slow. I believe uh, the, the, the system is quite responsive for me and it's working quite fast. So I wouldn't need to set up the CAS. And the last but not least is the monitors, which is, it has to do with the configuration of the monitor that you have right now and the setup of the different um, mode lists, uh, which is the uh, different resolutions that the monitor is supporting. Here you see that it shows uh, 1440 to 900 because it sees the monitor that's on my laptop. Okay. Uh, and I guess that here you can uh, add new ones. It reminds me a little bit like the what we had with um, Picasso 96, the configuration or the cyber graphics, the configuration to set up new uh, resolutions. Uh, but I have never changed anything from the uh, default ones. Uh, what makes me, uh, it, make, it seems weird here is why I don't have 
any way to select a different monitor, the monitor that I have in front of me. Uh, so to add the different uh, resolutions here, there's no way to select something like that. Um, because, uh, as you know, I have two monitors on this system, and I would expect that it will be easier. It will there will be a way to to set up uh, different resolutions for each monitor. Uh, but we might see something like that uh, in the future. For now, the the default automatic resolutions that I get, and we have seen in this uh, window where you set up the screens. Uh, all these um, resolutions are working quite well. I might have an issue when I, if I would like to set up a resolution like uh, closer to the Amiga resolutions, like uh, 320 to 200 and things like that. But uh, I think that they scale up to the other resolutions. If you need to use uh, an emulator, a UI emulator to have such resolutions on your system uh, to run a game or something like that. I don't know, of course, if this scale up has um, a, sp a performance penalty for the system. Liberal says, uh, by the way, it's working on Firefox. Oh, Firefox rules. I always use Firefox on my system. I trust it more than anything else. Um, Harris Amiga says monitors, yeah. <laughs> Falcon Lever says, uh, yes, it's working, but I'm not on the map, which is strange. Yeah, maybe they are working things right now and uh, they try to keep it closed. I hope that they are not going to add more JavaScript on that and make the um, Amiga uh, browsers not working anymore. Cool Morphian says, enable the cache in case your SSD supports stream. Uh, OS4 SFS is quite different from Morphos. Yeah, possible. Uh, in case your uh, the SSD supports stream, the, the 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 one that I have right now, which is uh, it is not an SSD, it's uh, uh, an M2 uh, memory card. Uh, I think it's a Kingston one. I don't think it supports stream at all. Uh, Falcon Eleven says I have set up some more resolutions. Yeah, you can you can set up more resolutions. I I just uh, I'm not aware how I can do it for uh, the, the second monitor that I have. Unless um, here you can select, um, okay, uh, here you can select different uh, information about the monitor, but I don't know, I understand that it is, it, this configuration is going to be only for the monitor that come, uh, it's on the, the laptop and not the external monitor. Mm. Falcon Lever says I set up a view to some uh, demos. Yeah, yeah, possible. Uh, Wayfarer, Le let me let me check on Wayfarer if it works. Uh, Libero says, can you edit that monitor? There are some uh, buttons there. Yeah, you can edit it, but um, I think that it's these edits are only for the uh, laptop monitor. Amigamap.com Okay. Statistics Morphos works quite well and let's see Morphos global chart and global map let's see the global map yeah spread around the world in Ireland two Morphos systems okay 
let me zoom a little bit in Greece 11 morpher systems wow maybe I have to do the uh, the translation after all <laughs> uh, Falcon Leather says uh, you live in Ireland yeah I live in Ireland I'm from Greece but the last uh, three and a half years I moved to, to Ireland with my family yeah So, uh, guys, I would like to close, to wrap up the, the stream now. Um, we uh, have seen all the uh, preferences that, are the main preferences that are coming with uh, Morphos. Um, we still have to have a look on the preferences that are for Ambient uh, here and maybe have a look on the MUI uh, preferences which is something that we could have a look although that if you use the MUI on any other operating system Amiga operating system um, it's pretty close to that but we can have a look on how you need what you need to do to change the theme globally on your system and things like that and um, so I am thinking to leave it, the, the rest of this stuff for the next stream and um, we will see how it goes from there I would like to thank you all for being here thank you very much uh, cool Morphian says I am, am I listed in Athens I haven't seen that uh, I will check it later on out of the stream uh, cool Morphian uh, Aris Aminka says, oh my god, I can see my home from that map. Falcon <laughs> uh, Levin says, my sister lived in Ireland, maybe I visit her someday. And the dots, I guess, is uh, the number of beers that we are going to drink uh, Falcon Levin. If you are ever here, I will be glad to meet you. If, you, if your sister lives in uh, close to, to Dublin, I'm in Dublin, so we can meet at any time otherwise we can meet in um, I don't know who of you are going to the uh, Amiga 37 uh, in Germany that is going to happen in October but I'm going to be there uh, with my son and uh, I hope to meet you all there as well if you plan to go it's going to be a great uh, Amiga celebration uh, after all these years right so um, I would like again to thank you all for being here I'm uh, really glad uh, that I have you all uh, in this stream I hope you enjoyed it and uh, also I would like uh, to thank all my supporters on uh, coffee page that I have uh, I have a, a page at uh, coffee slash walker where you can uh, support me for all the videos that I'm uh, doing and the open source applications that I'm creating for Amiga OS and uh, for Morphos as well and uh, uh, have in mind that uh, every month uh, at the end of every month 50% of the donations that I uh, get from you guys uh, are going to a developer uh, or a, an organization in uh, the Amiga world uh, so we by supporting me you support other developers as well 50% are donated back to the community so uh, have that in mind as well and I also would like to uh, thank my Amiga Pulse supporters who is Breed, Christopher White, Daniel De Trexy De Zedlika, Roman Carging and T Livelord who support me every month uh, from my coffee page uh, thank you everyone for being here again I hope you had uh, fun and uh, 
have a great weekend and see you uh, next time in next stream bye bye